Hello, welcome back. I just noticed that my save files keep track of how many days have gone by. I wonder if that means anything. Uh, anyway, last time I met Elsa up in the poor desolate building tower. I didn't know her name at the time, but that was definitely her, had confirmed later. She's an interesting character. She has a programming interface in her place, which I would love to be able to use somehow, but she was busily on it. She also has a key. Which, Digital Trash 16... Wake up, Sebastian. I'm still not actually sure how to wake him up. Like, I click, I press escape, this slows down, then eventually he wakes up. It's it's unclear which thing, if any, is doing that. Uh, right, so she has a key that I opted not to take, but I think I do want it. Because apparently there is something... Alright, let's see here. Room regulations. Can I... Managed to put you on the table here. Not there. You were on, like, this little end table, maybe? Well, you're going on the floor. That's a disc? Whoa! I had no idea that was a floppy disc. <laughs> I thought it was just a pamphlet that I couldn't read for some reason. Why did I think that? <laughs> I guess I didn't realize floppy disks were a thing when I first picked it up, and then I never thought about that, because I never really got a good look at it before I picked it up. So that is informative. Um, okay, I want to put down a bunch of stuff that I don't want to be carrying with me, because my inventory is just too full. I would love to have some sort of storage someplace other than just random floors, wherever. I'm hoping I can buy a storage upgrade or, you know, some permanent place to just set stuff or something one of these days. For now, room of my, uh, floor of my hotel room. Things I don't need to keep with me. I probably don't need to keep the music tokens, and in fact, if floor space is at this much of a premium... Sebastian, just find a spot. <laughs> uh then, yeah, I probably should throw away things like that, um, screwdriver. I haven't, I haven't found a use for it. I'll just keep it in my room. In case I find something that looks like it needs a screwdriver, I'll, uh, come back for it. Or find a new one. So, I want to read my room regulations. The best floppy disk reader I currently know about is in the artist's studio... Uh, up in the north part of town. That's where all the interesting stuff is. There's the key to my room. Map, room regulations. Okay, that's as good as it's going to get. Unless I wanted to put away the cigarette and the snooze and the beer and the... Actually, I don't think I have any beer right now. But I want to keep those as gifts to people in case they feel needy when they're around me. Okay, so I want to pick up some beer. I have drugs too. Uh, last one of those that I did passed the time very quickly. Right, so anyway, uh, one of the discs I found told me that um, there's a shack next to Elsa's house. Something is left there, the key unlocks the shack, so I can find out what the something is. What is that, coffee? That's nothing, that's a candle. Uh, okay. If I talk to you again, do you have anything different to say? Good day. Uh, how's the job coming along? Oh, just fine. I love it. Um, maybe I'll give the... Actually, you know, I want to say this. She a bit odd? The woman at the reception desk? Oh, not one bad word about Mrs. Ba 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 Babsia? Babcia? No, no, no. She's fantastic. Okay. I wasn't saying a bad word, just that she's <laughs> unusual. Uh, what's up? Always prepared. Maybe I'll give the onion soup a shot now. Ah, but we're out of soup at the moment. Oh, huh. Come back in a little while and I might have a pot of it ready. How long is a little while? Like a matter of hours, days? I don't know. Okay. Um, now I did note that my conversation options were reducing, so I can say hi. Oh, he does it automatically. Do you live at the hotel? Yes, actually. Mrs. Babcha has lent me one of the sweets. No one books them, anyway. <laughs> she lives in the other one. Oh, okay. Might be interesting to see where these people go at night. <laughs> Nothing creepy about that at all. 
Not in the context of a video game, at least. Alright, hey, who are you? Uh, maybe this is a strange question, question, but do you know a girl called Pixie? Right, I'm looking for Pixie. She's at the... L l la, not lounge, not lobby. Word that starts the lodge. She's a hacker, right? Oh, is she? Uh, you, then you know more than I do, but it sounds interesting. Tell you what, I think I've spoken to her once or twice. We had some issues with the software here. That's not very unusual, as you might have noticed. I wonder if she might be my path toward getting a programming interface. Uh, do you know anything else about her? No, sorry. I know she's at the lodge. She's, she's younger than you, however old you are. <laughs> All right. Uh, one more thing. Yeah. Uh, you want a soda? Nope. Okay, fair enough. Oh, the harbor. Is that good selling location? Worth a try. Okay. Thanks for the tip. Uh, take care. Cool. Alright, so, sell soda by the harbor if I want to do that. That's not the activity that I'm interested in doing today, though. So, somebody's noticed, apparently, that when I open my map, it orients the camera to the north. Yeah, that's helpful. So that points me looking north. Good. So I am... Uh, Devichka here. I'm there. So I can just go this way, that way, that way. Okay. Uh, hey, who are you? Is that the guy I was just talking to? I don't know. I'm following him. Or her. Or whoever this is. I think I've talked to you? You don't speak. You're drinking a Wellspring Soda, isn't that what that is? Hmm. Okay. So Harbor is this way. Really? Oh, yeah. Well, the Harbor is where the warehouse was. There was nobody there. I'm supposed to sell there? How? Can't sell to no people. Hey, what's this? Let me ignore my goal and just wander off in a random direction because it looked interesting. <laughs> That's how you find stuff in this game. So far, at least. I'm surprised batteries are not interactable objects. Like, that's clearly a battery, but I can't point at it. Uh, what am I... What? Wait, what happened? A bedroom... Ah, it's the, um, the trumpet player. Oh, hey, a computer. Does this happen to have a floppy reader? Yeah, that's handy. Great. Don't have to go as far for that as I thought. Room regulations. Smoking in your room is strongly forbidden. No littering. Be quiet. Tread lightly. Don't eat in your room. Modification of hotel property will be prosecuted. <laughs> that's the one that I was expecting in there. Um... This is a thing I could do if I wanted. That's a thing I could do if I wanted. I don't know how to be loud. I could eat. I have a baguette in my bag, I think. Yeah, I stole that thing. Uh, still have it. Not sure what to do with it. Right, the guy I stole it from wanted to arrest me for... <laughs> not for the reason of stealing it, for other reasons. Uh, that I didn't really understand. Hey. Discs. And I don't even have to leave the building to read them. Ooh, mixer. <laughs> he has no idea how. Can I do it with a music token? Nope. <laughs> Sebastian does not understand how to use a mixer. TV has that going on. Very low, re low resolution TV. That's not beer, that's booze. That's different. Let's see what the old man thinks of that. Is this also a floppy disk reader? No. Random movie title generator. Okay. The Return of the Wonderful Prince. The Lord of the Fantastic Mrs. X. The Saga of the Magical Lady. The Lord of the Wonderful Hero. The Master of the Evil Lady. <laughs> okay, then. Uh, oh, hey! A blank key? Yes, please. 
I will take that. That sounds extremely useful once I get the opportunity to program a key to open a certain door, which almost certainly is something that's going to happen. Oh, another one. Okay, so you know what? I want this too. All right, so I got two blank keys that I suspect will come in very useful later. <laughs> Hopefully the sleeping trumpet player doesn't mind. He will never know. Are those computers? I don't think I could point at them. That's like a... what is that? Okay, so I can sit here. <gasps> oh wait, no. <laughs> but yeah, isn't that, isn't that? No, I misinterpreted. I thought that was one of those things that people, one of those handheld programmy things that people were, uh, were using. No such luck. Yeah, I mean that thing's going to be a big deal. It's not going to be easy to get to it. Currently, Pixie is my theory of the way I need to get that. Because I know I need it. That's like the main point of the game. So that's a humidity sampler. And that's a humidity sampler. All humidity everywhere is 2%. Which sounds way too low for... Oh man, camera. Figure yourself out, please. Sometimes it decides it does not want to follow where Sebastian is going. Like then. Just wants to center on something else. Alright, anyway place I wanted to be. I guess it's close to the harbor, kinda. Those are probably also humidity computers. They look the same. Eh. That would be a noisy place to live, right above the... wait, is that even a house? Mm, looks kinda like it. Hmm. Uh, yeah, lots of doors I could go into, but let me let me actually focus on what I'm trying to do. No, go go here. Ah. I want to get the key from Elsa and also see if there are any other floors in her building, because I think I kind of understand how the elevator works now, at least a little better than I did. So yeah, rereading those notes. Um, whoa. Okay, uh, rereading those notes that I read uh, with a little bit more context was pretty interesting. Um, in some of them, she was talking about the digital creep stuff that was in some of the rooms I saw here. Uh, apparently it's a little bit out of control. So if I say four, let me see where that takes me. Four and three both did stuff. Two did not. One... Okay, yeah, no, that did take me to the top floor. Hmm. Alright, so Elsa. What are you up to? Same stuff. Later, sweetheart. Okay. Let me take your key. Alright. Oh! It locks that door. Good to know. However... There's another thing that it's supposed to affect. Was there anything... what was up here? Although, right, I can attempt to lock or unlock a door with any key, but there's no telling if it actually works. This one does not. Okay. Uh, key is not working. Whoops. Right, this was a room where I found the mystical cube. Yeah, so that stuff right there... That's apparently creeping into her building. Perhaps that's what she's working so hard on fixing. Elevator. Take me down. Or take me up, if that's possible. Four. Four does nothing. Two? Hmm. Can I actually go to two now?
Well, no, I mean, this is the place where I slept that one time. That's this. So it seems like this is only a three-story building. Yeah, okay, I think I'm starting to understand. Four is floor three, two and three are floor two, one is floor one, maybe. Because, like, if I would do... Neither of those do anything because I'm already on that floor. So it's a four-floor interface for a three-floor building, I guess. <laughs> That's the best I can gather so far. Right. So, a shack next to her house. It's supposed to have something in it. What do I see here that I would describe as a shack? This? Yeah, that door is locked. Here we go. Very good. So what's in here? See, now stuff like this is why I definitely need to pay attention to all the digital trash and all the little details of everything in the world because I wouldn't have known how to get here otherwise. This was very useful information. Uh, was it though? <laughs> <laughs> uh, there are trash cans. Inspect does nothing. Okay, so I don't see anything in this room. Wait, there was a stairway down. Hold on, go back. Sure, there's interesting stuff in there, but... No, that's not a stairway, that's just a pit. <laughs> huh. Okay, so, floppy. Hey. Calm down, Sebastian. Digital trash 35. Alright, what are you? Teleporting device? What? Uh, not yet, but that sounds interesting. Hi, bird. What are you doing in here? Inventory is full. Use computer. Yeah. Huh. Well, that's not working too well. Not author. I'm not authorized to reboot this. Can't see what else it says, but that's the little bit I can tell. Okay, so some of them require authorization to do stuff. Can't go down here. Press button. Ooh. Well, now I'm here. So that's a shortcut back to my hotel, I guess. Well, that's useful. Cool. Hmm. Um, what is all this stuff in my bag, anyway? Hey, you want... You want this... Also, what's in there? Uh, here. Nope. Okay, he already has one. Guess he's not interested in this. Um, well, here, you can have it anyway. <laughs> I don't want to carry so much. I have too many things. I need to sell some of the soda, I guess. Mm. Room regulations. I read those. I can put them down in my room, I guess. Here. I don't want to go all the way in there, so I'm just going to put down... I'll clean up my mess later. Probably not, actually. <laughs> Uh, okay, so, uh, no, uh, 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 north. Wait, where am I going? What am I doing? Uh, I got the teleporting device. Does it? I guess I could check if it has just the one destination. I could maybe try asking Elsa about it. Yeah, okay. It seems to specifically take me right there. I mean, that's very handy. I can return home quickly. So that's pretty cool. Harbor, right. This way, this way? Yeah, this way.
she probably... Well, maybe she'd have something else to say to me. Hey, Ivan. You again. What? <laughs> uh, hi, I represent Wellspring Soda. Unlocked. What? I don't drink soda. Makes you fat. <laughs> it's true. You look beat up. I do. I do. <laughs> uh, having a really bad run with my job and all. Yeah, working sucks. It's so boring. <laughs> do what I do and just don't work. <laughs> uh, you can do that? Yeah, if your parents are rich. <laughs> <laughs> this guy. Yeah, Ivan's a problem. Definitely. Let's not mess with him. So he's the one with flies buzzing around his head. That's an easy way to identify somebody, I guess. Okay. Um. I'm debating whether I want to bother going all the way up to ask Elsa about this thing. Poet man is here. Um. Yeah, sure. I should. I'll give her back her key, at least. I'll assume that's the only thing it opens. So I shouldn't need that anymore. Let's see, I'm gonna find Pixie. She's at the lodge, but I don't know where the lodge is. I could go back to Bar Yvonne and see if she's there, maybe. I could attempt to find this uh, after-party place I was told about so long ago. Tower by the mines and the something else. So hey, Elsa. Still nothing to say to me. Okay, fair enough. Well, here's your key back. Uh... Ah, I put it back in its proper spot. <laughs> I can't mess with that computer. That's not a computer. Uh, wait, what was this one? Oh yeah, door. Oh. I wonder if that's a key programmer, like with a blank slate. Hmm, possibly. Okay, so nothing more for me to do here. Uh, I feel an urge to look around just a little bit more in this area, because this was the interesting one. I don't feel like I saw everything in this northern portion of town. I saw the arcade, I saw Elsa's tower. I've seen the poor storage. So nothing over here. This is just dead end. Uh, wait, door? What door? No, not that door. I wish I could look in this direction without having this happen. <laughs> ah. Even doing that, no, that doesn't help. That's as close as I can zoom in. Alright, which building was this? This was the artist's house, right? Yeah, okay. Do I have a floppy disk I want to read? Yes, Digital Trash 35. Uh. Uh. Eh. Seth Brundle set something in motion. I'll admit it was a bit too messy for my tastes, but you know, I have issues and am sensitive with my food. So, but whatever it works, all you have to do is push the button. I guess you're talking about the teleporting device? Okay, if you say so. <laughs> Seth Brundle, was it? I guess I'll try to remember that name. No one else here seems to have a last name. Maybe Seth is special. Alright, so, oh hey, here's some stuff. More floppy disks. Oh boy, that I can't carry. Good thing I'm close to a reader. Can't walk there, for some reason. <laughs> All right, I can carry those. Just, uh, let me see. Let me see. I can't see anything. Could take the cigarette. Don't need it. 
I already have one. Narratively, I think Sebastian is supposed to be a smoker. But I'm not letting him smoke. <laughs> uh, can I walk here? Yeah, that's a staircase made out of a toilet and a bathtub and some wooden planks. <laughs> that's creative. Alright, where am I? That's a fancy looking chair. Why is it so illuminated? Poetry! Oh, that's his place. Okay. Uh, coffee... Use computer. Data on floppy. Forsock till reddening. Genum tankaflict. Och... Overglidnigar from... This is not English. <laughs> what is this, like, Danish or something? Norwegian? Something from that area. I don't speak this language. <laughs> Harry Martinson. Okay. If anybody knows that language, uh, I hope you appreciated that. <laughs> uh, so, tell me about this. And the best for last, if you're ever planning on going here, stand underneath one of the lovely trees at dawn. It is magic. In case you don't, here is a sample. But it's always better in real life, of course. Ah, Blackbird 1 to 5. Those are sounds, I think. Okay, 54. What do you have to say? This is not as good a floppy reader as the ones I'm used to now. What about the youth? What about tomorrow? What about the world? It's our greatest sorrow. What about the trees? And the heart that's hollow? What about the fields? It's a wicked one we follow. Okay. <laughs> Is that... That's a little tiny plant. I think it's a cactus? It's hard to get a good look at it. Open bag. Digital Trash 71. I've been tracking these ministry dudes. Mm -hmm. And I think I'm onto something. This is what I've learned. All computers and crazy machines in the city is tapped by the ministry. Oh. My tests and analysis, something, something. Ugh. This contrast is not too great. My test and analysis shows different messages hidden in the sounds they are making. The ones I've collected and experimented on are Electricity 1, 2, this one is evil, Guardian, guarding the web, Computer Sound 1, 2, 3, can't figure this one out, 4, Thunder 1, Thunder 2, Atmosphere 1, Work of the Ministry, Atmosphere 2, run them on any playable object that you can hack. Right, I can't do that yet. Just remember that they may have altered the pitch of the object in itself, so it might not play at its normal speed. Play sound, sound name. Okay, well, that's that's the API. Good to know. Well, that was highly informative. Uh, I will make note of all these things. So, definitely need a hacking interface. Uh, I don't know how much stock to put in the... Oh, image viewer. Cool. Uh, how much stock to put in the um, idea of the ministry using those for special purposes. But maybe. <laughs> so image viewer just prints out the <laughs> the text really fast. Huh. <laughs> you, be quiet. Thank you. <laughs> uh, Alright. I can sleep here. Don't wanna. I'll probably teleport back home. Uh, you know, I'm tired of carrying around so many things just in case somebody wants it sometime, so. Oh, hi! I'm in your house. You're going to sleep? Okay. Have a nice night. <laughs> I'll leave you alone. Yeah, so I think I'm going to put down some of these items since storage space is at such a premium right now. And I'll just go pick them up when I need some gift for somebody, I guess. 
Okay, so I think that's all the stuff up north here. Saw everything in that area. I've gone into all the doors, I think, unless I missed any. Have I been to this spot? Well, there's nothing here. Eh. I could kick a lamp. <laughs> um, have I ever tried throwing something away? Do I know for sure that it doesn't, like, stay in the trash can? Let's throw away a cigarette. Those are plentiful. And if I inspect the trash can... Yeah, I can't... Well, I can't even. Alright, so I think that's gone permanently. Okay, so trash cans eliminate items permanently. That sounds dangerous. Don't want to do that with something important. Okay, um, so, sure, let's use this. It suddenly got very dark. <laughs> uh, you have anything to say at this time of day? Nope, I think we're done with each other. I'd like to explore that building. Uh, maybe I'll do that another time. Um, yeah, after midnight, might as well sleep. I might not need to sleep as... Uh, uh, regimentedly as I do. Because <laughs> I did stay up all night that one time. And just with a few sips of soda, was able to keep going. I don't know if there's any other effects other than just eventual fatigue and not being able to run. That was the only one I noticed with a little bit of... Oh, yeah. There's other doors that I can't go into here. <laughs> uh, a little bit of lack of sleep that I had. Okay, cool. So, I learned some stuff. Uh, collected a few more things. Anything I want to dump here? Actually, I didn't want... Wait, I haven't read these. Why haven't I read these? Okay. More digital trash to read. <laughs> That seems to never end. Uh, here, you. Go on the floor. Uh, might be breaking the no littering, littering, mm, no littering rules by doing this. <laughs> Harbor South, hidden storage, lap drug, slip 3-1. Hmm. Uh, so computer ministry is clearly very important. They are doing some kind of business there. They're the suits that people talk about, I guess. Baguette. Let's just eat this. He hasn't eaten in days. <laughs> Hopefully he enjoyed that. <laughs> All right, that's clean enough. Uh, I'm going to put the blank slate, one of the blank slates down. I can keep one on me in case I find a place to program it, a way to program it. Let's see, how do I make you face that direction. Fancy house three, old key two. If I walk over here, will you turn? Yeah, there you go. Still doesn't work. I'm out of floor space. <laughs> anyway, I'll keep one on me. If I figure out how to program that, I know I have another at my hotel. Boy, I've made a mess in here. <laughs> All right, see you next time to go to other parts of the city.